Your ass better call somebody! And I'm back with the conclusion of career mode in 2K20. It's about fucking time of finishing it, I know. And I changed the outfits a little bit too, you'll see. Joe, Joe. I can't believe Brooklyn's a WWE superstar now. I can't believe I have to be her partner. It's good she no longer has any authority, but it feels like she's even more ingrained in our lives. At least it's now legal for you to punch her in the face. <laughs> Again, I have to be her partner. She's not worse than Riley. He wasn't exactly in his prime when he trained us almost 15 years ago. Not to mention, Brooklyn has him flying back and forth to Calgary on these crazy cheap budget airlines. He had to ride in the pet compartment on his last connection, and I think he came down with kennel cough. At least you got to choose him. I didn't have any say in this. It wasn't like I had a ton of good options. Look, all that aside, I just have a feeling this isn't going to end well for anyone. Well, at least I can still make the best of a bad situation and win some money for charity. Even if I have to get a dog vaccine, I still plan on winning the mixed match challenge. Same here. Minus the vaccine part. Brooklyn is disease-free as far as I can tell. <laughs> it's not Trey, it's Dubbers, by the way. Is scheduled for oh, yeah, one fall. <sighs> Introducing first from Canada, weighing in at 225 pounds, the WWE Champion, Brandon Extreme. Given the participants, this match might very well steal the show, guys. Yeah, and I think you could go so far as to say it has the makings of a match of the year candidate. Mixed tag team has a chance of being. It's the woman who's made a living beating here. people off Brooklyn Von Braun.
staying in room. This is a historic night as our former GM, Brooklyn Von Braun, makes her highly anticipated in-ring debut in WWE, replacing the injured Ronda Rousey. I still can't believe Brooklyn and Trey are partners. I mean, talk about an unlikely pairing. They've been at each other's throats for like 20 years. Well, we'll have to see if their adversarial pass affects the wanted. American hero's ability to work together in the Mix Match Challenge. Well, I guess Brooklyn came up with that team name. Real creative. Hey, at least it's not as bad as their opponents who call themselves the Moons over my Sammy. <laughs> I kind of like that. Yeah, I bet you do. The Moons over my Sammy? Oh, I'm flipping the script on him there. Break. Oh, yeah, shoot. Debut Brooklyn. She scores big with the counter. Hold on. The force. Two. Yeah. It's hard to look at Sami Zayn now and think of him as an inspiring figure, but that's exactly who he was in his time at NXT. What in fact, he doing? was widely regarded as the soul of NXT. And he gets out of there in a hurry. Looks like he needs to regroup, get his thoughts together. Whoa! Michael went back to a time when Sami Zayn was synonymous with NXT. His attitude back then was a far cry from where it is today. Now I wonder if everything we saw from Sami at NXT was just a ruse. No, oh, why are you guys trying to rewrite oh, the success ooh. Sami had at NXT? Just because you and everyone else turned their backs on him shouldn't discredit everything he's accomplished. The shoulders are down. Very curious move to go for a pinfall. This is off of me. Too early for that. Look out here. How impressive was that reversal? An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. He has something big planned. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. I'm not sure I'd be playing it up like this if I was Zane. When it comes to Ember Moon, one thing's for certain, guys. She made an instant impact, handily beating Billy Kay in her first ever match at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 2. Proving tough to catch. This is not where you want to be. Slam down hard. Tag in. Oh, don't tag out. I have to agree with what Byron was saying about Ember Moon's debut. She made her presence felt on day one and never looked back, beating some pretty big names in the process. Yeah, anytime you could say you defeated the likes of Shayna Baszler and Ruby Riot, you know you're legit. Corner. Sami Zayn tags in. Sami Zayn does not take it. Step up to Gary, right in the ear. Oh, front thrust kick. Sami Zayn in a potentially bad spot right here. Oh, leg breaker. Fight here. Yeah, it looks absolutely out of it, Cole. What's coming next? A back suplex. Wait a second. It appears 
Hooker wants Trader with, trade with Tuck the same double team maneuver that injured Ronda Rousey. Is she trying to prove she could do it better? I don't know, um, but it looks like Trey's not quite sure about that. this after what happened to Ronda. Perfect execution by the American heroes. An impressive win for the new team of Trey and Brooklyn Von Braun. I'm still not sure what to think about these two teaming. It's very strange. It looks trying to get used to it as well. I told you guys a hundred times, Brooklyn's a professional. She likes winning much more than she dislikes Trey. And here comes Trey's best friend, Red, for their mixed match challenge match. Hey, good luck. Well, that was awkward. You don't want to read too much in anything, but it certainly looked like Red just ignored Trey altogether. Well, it's obvious Red is upset about Trey teaming with Brooklyn, but she'd better get over it fast, or it's going to end up costing her team this match. Pose was just standing there. <laughs> Seriously, who writes this one? As this mixed match challenge match begins, we have to consider the possibility that Red's team could end up facing Shrek. Front face line apply into the guillotine. Mm. Oh, front thrust kick. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. Uh oh. High angle belly of back suplex. Some miscues from Ruby Riot here. Ruby Riot's in a bind. Oh, nice belly to back. That could be a game changer. Tope Atomico. Nicely done. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. Avoiding trouble there. What the? Nice drop kick. the quickness. No breathing room here for Ruby Riot. Turns it around. Power bomb. She goes for the cover. Not sure what made her think now was a good time for a pin attempt. That is a great reversal. Ruby Riot just too quick. Ruby Riot is in a tough spot. That could... One, two. I thought that was it. Wow, what's it going to take? She steers clear there. Oh, it's not going to be pretty. Up the sleep. Go to sleep. Can she shut the door on this one? My goodness, that connected. How could you tell if that was real break, dude? 
Tough spot for her here, guys. It's like she doesn't even know where she is. And off the tag. Is over. You're watching WWE live from Los Angeles. And
After a couple more wins for both our teams, Trey and I would be in a position we'd never been in before. Standing across the ring from each other as opponents in the finals of the Mixed Match Challenge. Good luck tonight. Seriously. Yeah, you too. Do you mean that? Because it seems like you can't bring yourself to say the actual words. I can totally say it, but now that you told me to, it won't mean as much. Come on, just say it. Good luck. Hey, look. It's your partner. How convenient. You're talking to the opposition before our match? You do realize I could give them a competitive advantage. <laughs> My team doesn't need an advantage to beat someone who's had less than five matches. I'm pretty sure I had less than five matches when I was tapping you out in high school, and tonight will be exactly the same. Except this time, a whole lot more people will see me embarrass you. Come on, we need to discuss what we're going to do with our prize money after we win. I was thinking we'd donate it to victims of identity heft. It's when people identify as skinny, but they're actually really fat. I think Red might have it. Ass? Oh, sorry, bitch. Sorry, Trey. Still no way I'm letting her win. <laughs> Probably gonna blame you for the loss anyway. <laughs> The infamous Riley Flash is here. She's gone from terrorizing Red and Trey to WWE superstars. It's Brooklyn Von Braun. This is it, the finals of the Mixed Match Challenge. One of these teams will take home $500,000 to donate to a charity of their choice. Don't bury the lead, Cole, the charity part. It's nice, but the real story here is that best friends Red and Trip finds a way to reverse. Beginning to flag a little. Ooh, she's looking relentless now. Really taking control here. Harsh impact. We 
We might be close to the end. That's over at this point. Well, it's not going to be pretty. Go to sleep. Connor Bluff. Uh, you never want to be on the receiving end of one of those. ceases to amaze me. Referee in position. I can't believe it. I hate to question her, Cole, but that was just plain silly. Why would you do that at this point in the match? That's gotta be it. Two. Two. Uh, barely, but it counts. What's coming next? Bam. Suplex. Very nice. Turns it around. Right to the head here. That's one you feel for a few days, Cole. Going for the hook. Look out! Oh, 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 a piercing elbow. Cover! One, two, two count. Pretty admirable performance here, but you have to wonder if she's risking permanent injury. Nasty one right to the chest. Disaster there. Heading back up. Here we go. Sainthood because she just performed a miracle in winning this with Riley Flash. That's the only way to explain this. I just hope that now that this is over, there won't be any hard feelings between Red and Trey. They've been through too much hey, together on, Trey, to let don't something like her. this get between them. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up with you riding with her? Relax. I offered him a ride since we're both going to the gym. Look, I know we usually ride together, but I wanted to get some extra training in since Samoa Joe basically wants to strangle me to death with his crazy cyborg arm at SmackDown 1500. I'd be happy to help you work on your submissions. It's really the only way you're going to survive the Coquina Clutch. I mean, that little reversal trick you taught him might have worked in their first match, but let's face it, he needs some real training. After all, my MMA record was 24-2. and two. The two losses were DQs for eye gouging, so really, I was undefeated. You training me is a great idea. It could help me survive Samoa Joe. Who knows, maybe even beat him. Good, we'll get started right away. And by the way, I didn't get a chance to congratulate you on winning the Mixed Match Challenge. It actually inspired me. To what, quit? No. Your donation of the $500,000 to that animal shelter in our hometown got me thinking. What can Brooklyn do to help? 
So I decided to donate a million dollars of my own personal money to the shelter. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, they're naming an entire wing after me. Did you get a wing? Not that I know of. Yeah, I guess 500k isn't really wing money. But hey, I have the director's info. I'll see if they can at least name something after you. Maybe a maintenance closet or a bathroom stall. I'll let you know when we can get started on that training, partner. So what, are you friends with her now? No, it's not like that. Well, it seems like that. I mean, first you're riding with her, and now you're training with her? Did you forget this is the same person who tormented us for 20 years? I gotta ride with yeah, her dude. one time. And besides, she's changed, okay? I mean, she just donated a million dollars of her own money to an animal shelter. Bad people don't do that. How naive are you? She's obviously lying about the donation to try and get under my skin. There's no way she would ever actually do something good like that. She's always been fake, and this is no different. Can't assume any of that. I'm not assuming she's a terrible person. I know that. And I thought you did too. Come on. That mural's kind of freaking me out. It feels like you're watching me from every angle. I am. But focus here. So when Samoa Joe gets you in the Coquina Clutch this time... Uh, how do you know he'll get me in it? It's a submission match, which means he'll be going for it early and often. So you have to be prepared. And what I was going to say before you interrupted me... Sorry. Won't happen again. What I was going to say is your little trick you used against him ten years ago when you rolled backwards to get the win isn't going to work this time. He'll be ready. And even if you pulled it off, it won't do any good because this is a submission Rivalry match. match. Rivalry submission match. Right. So I'm Samoa Joe, and I'm going to put you in the Coquina Clutch. Try to escape. I tap, I tap, I tap! Uh, that was uh, pathetic. I know. How am I ever gonna beat Samoa Joe? I mean, once she cinches in that arm around my neck, it's all over. Goodbye, WWE Championship. Goodbye, Trachea. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, big ring in the sky. Hopefully. Okay, stop. You're spiraling. It's not about his arm. It's about his legs. Huh? I studied hours of footage of Samoa Joe locking in the Coquina Clutch, you're welcome, and I discovered a hidden flaw that's going to allow you to counter it and beat him. Give me your phone. Voice password? Trey and Peyton Royce forever? Voice recognition volume too low. Please try again. Trey and Peyton Royce forever. It's a joke. Please don't tell her. Anyway, like I said, I watched a lot of tape on Samoa Joe, and I discovered this. Watch his ankles. See how he crosses them? He does it every time. That's your opening to beat him. I, I, I don't get it. Of course you don't. <laughs> Let me show you. Put me He's in the coquina clutch and make sure you cross your ankles like Joe does. was that? The secret to not getting the life choked out of you and walking away with your WWE championship. <sighs> wow, we this should try that. is weird to say with all our history, but I don't know what I'd be doing right now without your help. I guess I've been in a charitable mood lately. Well, seriously, thanks for teaching me this. So, I guess we're good to go now? Are you kidding? You haven't actually learned how to do the counter yet. On your back. We're going to start with the hip motion. I'll film on your phone so you can watch it back later. It locked again. Trey and Peyton Royce forever!
Welcome to the special 1500th episode of SmackDown Live. SmackDown Live has been the home of some amazing matches over the years, and tonight we continue that tradition with the long-awaited, much-anticipated battle between Trey and Samoa Joe. This submission match for the WWE Championship is seven years in the making, going back to Trey's debut when he shocked the WWE Universe and Samoa Joe on SmackDown 1500. Will Joe finally get his revenge? I don't trust Brooklyn. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? Studying my training footage. I think I actually have a chance tonight, thanks to Brooklyn. Yeah, about her. I don't want to get into it again. I need to focus on my match. I actually wanted to apologize. I might have been acting a little crazy lately. A little? Okay, slightly more than a little. I called the animal shelter that Brooklyn said she donated the money to, and turns out she wasn't lying. See? I told you she's changed. I think I just got caught up with us competing against each other in the Mixed Match Challenge. And then I felt like I was losing my best friend to pretty much the worst person I could imagine. But maybe she's not the worst person after all. There's probably some terrible dictators or criminals on death row who are slightly worse. That's very big of you to say that. Name one. So you should be cool with the fact that Brooklyn is going to be in my corner tonight then, right? I need her out there to coach me through the technique she taught me. Totally cool with that. Not bothered at all. Besides, I have a big announcement to focus on. About what? Well, I decided to get back to concentrating on the list. And there's one thing on there I always wanted to accomplish, but it never seemed possible. Especially when Brooklyn was GM. No offense to your new BFF. But since this is a very special episode of SmackDown Live, it's the perfect time to make it happen. Good luck tonight. Seriously. Hey, you finally said it. And I meant it. Did this let her and the boys change room? As a guy to dressing room? What if Tyler Breeze was running around naked or something? Tonight, we celebrate 1,500 episodes of SmackDown Live. On nights like this, we look back at the amazing superstars who helped us get here. For me, personally, when I was an awkward teenager, the thought that I could someday do this seemed like a total long shot. But I was inspired by women like Beth Phoenix, The Bellas, Natalia, and Mickey James. Around that time, I created this list of goals I'd someday want to accomplish if I ever made it to WWE. Well. I think I've more than made it. But there's one thing on this list that all those women I mentioned accomplished. But I never have, because it's kind of impossible now. But if I've learned anything on my journey, it's that nothing is truly unattainable. The goal I'm referring to is winning the title that I grew up watching. Oh, the WWE a... Divas Championship. Like I said, Kind of hard to do, considering it hasn't existed in almost 15 years. But I'm proposing that WWE bring the Divas Championship back so I can honor the women who blazed a path for me and prove 
that no dream is ever hopeless or unimaginable. Wait, what? And you want me to tell her right now? I'm sorry, but I was just told to inform you that the Divas Championship is already spoken for. Already spoken for? It hasn't existed in over a decade. How is that even possible? They said you would hear more in the very near future. That's all I know. What just happened? I have no idea, but apparently someone in the back has other plans for the Divas Championship. Uh, it's probably got something to do with Brooklyn. Introducing the challenger from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282. This match between Trey and Samoa Joe is finally happening. Tonight on SmackDown, 1,500 after nearly a decade of anticipation. I don't think Trey was anticipating this as much as Samoa Joe, especially considering it's a submission match, which definitely favors Joe and his Coquina clutch. Uh, let's not ignore the fact that Trey has Brooklyn Von Braun in his corner tonight, who could be the difference maker. Supposedly, the ex-MMA star has been working with Trey on his submission defense in preparation for this match. I don't care who's in Trey's corner. There is no way he walks away with his WWE champion. In fact, he'll be lucky to walk away at all. There is something I've noticed throughout Samoa Joe's career. Something that can make all WWE superstars very cautious. Joe is like an assassin. He targets the competition, not only with a mission to defeat them, but a mission to destroy them. Here's the corner!
see Samoa Joe having the characteristics of an assassin, carrying the attitude of a merciless mercenary. I question Joe's moral judgment, his lack of sportsmanship. Well, unfortunately, gentlemen, morality doesn't win championships, and you fellas may hate it, but you have no choice but to respect it. Samoa Joe makes no apologies for taking... Look at this. Diving knee drop! Samoa Joe is definitely starting to wane. He's lost much of his early... Look at this! Oh, an elbow drop! Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Big move coming. Absolutely spiked. DDT. Head crank. Ooh. He's executing on his plan perfectly. This is what he feeds off of. Kick. And here we go now. Elbow drop. Time to go swinging. The king of swing. He might go all night. Tying up the legs now. Oh, look at the surfboard! That's how you wear down your opponent. And no luck against Joe there. That was both a quick and powerful strike, guys. Nice job by Samoa Joe. Great decision by Joe to capitalize. The scoop slam! The hit's adding up a little on the champ. No need to panic, he's still swinging. Here we go. We knew this was coming. Come on. Go, Kina Clutch. This match between Trey and Samoa Joe is finally oh, happening tonight on SmackDown. 1,500 after nearly a decade of anticipation. I don't think Trey was anticipating this as much as Samoa Joe, especially considering it's a submission yeah. match, which definitely favors Joe in his Coquina clutch. Now let's yeah, not ignore yeah. the fact that Trey has Brooklyn Von Braun in his corner tonight, who could be the difference maker. Supposedly, the ex-MMA star has been working with Trey on his submission defense in preparation for this match. I don't care who's in Trey's corner. There is no way he... 
Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. Here's, look at this. He let it go. Curious decision there, Michael. Oh, right up there. All right, that one's got him. The champ to the top two. Oh, look out. Diving knee drop. Samoa Joe looking a little startled right now. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. The choke seemed to be in deep, but he let him go. Yeah, and I'm sure his opponent doesn't mind one bit. That's how you wear down your opponent. Point of the elbow, nailed it. And no luck against Joe there. Eludes the attack. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. Big elbow. Rolling elbow finds its mark. What the hell was that shit? Ooh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Uh -oh. I'm afraid to think what's going to happen next. Yet another oh, count. Oh, it's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. DDT! The champ to the top turnbuckle. That was a super kick. <laughs> These two heavyweights have worked their entire lives for this, and the night has finally Two. arrived. We'll see who will claim the WWE World Heavyweight title. Three. Samoa Joe locks in the Coquina clutch. Trains attempt the encounter. What's the matter? Not like you planned. It looked like Trey attempted a counter to the Coquina clutch that Brooklyn must have taught him, but for whatever reason, it just didn't work. It's over. It may not be the Universal Championship that Trey defeated him for Joe knew it was ago, coming. But Samoa Joe gets the vindication he was looking for as he is the new WWE Champion. Ball shot coming up. What the hell? A hindsight's 2020, but Brooklyn Von Braun's change of heart was way too good to be true. Saxton, you said Brooklyn was going to be the difference maker tonight, and you were right for once. If she and Samoa Joe had formed an alliance, and it would appear that they have, Red and Trey's lives are going to be changed forever. Had those unlocked, but thank you. The Riley Flash. That's gank.
Okay. Get it saved. I really don't need to hear I told you so right now. All you're gonna hear from me is I hope you're okay. I'll be all right. I just feel so stupid. You're not stupid. You're trusting and a good person. That's what separates you from people like her. Like, I appreciate it, but I still can't believe I let my guard down like that. You were right about everything. We'll make her pay for this. I promise. <clears throat> Welcome to SmackDown Live, where hopefully we're about to get some sort of clarification from Brooklyn Von Braun on last week's shocking turn of events. I am a big fan of movies. Mostly the ones I've starred in, but there are some other ones that are okay too. But in any film, my favorite part is always near the end when the villain explains their big evil plan going over every single detail of how they pulled the wool over the stupid idiot hero's eyes. But in movies, 
This usually allows the hero time to escape or stop the bad guy in some way. But I'm not gonna be stopped. See, I already destroyed your be idiot stopped. hero last week with the help of Samoa Joe. So now, I have all the time in the world to walk you through every single detail of my brilliant scheme. Like I said, this is my favorite part. So here we go. When I was GM, I brought Samoa Joe back fully knowing what his plans were for attacking Trey in the best of five final and costing Red her title. In fact, I helped make those plans myself. Then I gave Trey a title match against Adam Cole just so Joe could eventually take it from Trey. Sorry, Adam. After that, I inserted myself into the mixed match challenge as Trey's partner to earn his trust, giving me the opportunity to teach him the secret Coquina clutch escape. Only when Joe got it on Trey and he thought he had it all under control, those ankles weren't crossed, were they? Because it wasn't a secret anymore. I told Joe exactly what to expect, and Trey never had a chance. <laughs> now, unfortunately, to make Trey and Red think I had changed for the better, I did have to donate a bunch of money to an animal shelter. But don't worry. I purchased the shelter, kicked out all the disgusting animals, and I'm turning it into the newest location for my tanning salon chain, Brooklyn Von Brown. Which, if you ask me, does a lot more to serve the community. So right about now, your tiny brains are probably asking, but why, Brooklyn? Why would you do all of this? I did this to maintain the hierarchy. To show Red and Trey that despite what they think they've achieved in WWE, I'm the star and they're the losers. Just like it's always been. And that will never change. Anyway, I've spent way too much time talking about those rejects, so let's discuss what's next for the American hero. New trademark lawsuit pending. Well, I have some big news to share. I'm a champion. You see, I recently talked to WWE management about bringing back a title from the past, and they agreed I was the perfect superstar to award it to. Oh, so I'd like to present to you your new WWE Divas Champion, me! You've got to be kidding me. I guess this explains why I was told to inform Red that the Divas Championship was already spoken for. You know, maybe in the future, Trey, you should be a little more careful about who sees your phone. You never know what they could find on there. Like maybe even a copy of a list outlining all their friends' dreams and ambitions. Clearly, Red has heard and seen enough. Well, she should be mad at her friend Trey for letting all this happen. Let's go, right now, you and me. I'm a prize fighter, and considering I've got the prize, I decide when I fight, so run along. Maybe there's something else you can cross off your list, like find someone who will take me out on a date, or fix my jacked up teeth. Those are real things on her list. I saw it. I'm coming What's for the you and that title. Fuck. You wanted this? Well, now you got it! Thankfully, Trey is here to put an end to this. It's Samoa Joe, where did he come from? It's obvious Brooklyn and Samoa Joe are always two steps ahead of Red and Trey. And now Brooklyn is going to force Red to watch her best friend get destroyed by Samoa Joe yet again. That should be illegal. He suffered enough. Come on, don't do it. No. 
Trey might be seriously injured. This, this is bad. Well, Trey's condition's unclear. One thing is, the duo of Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe will annihilate anyone who attempts to get in their way. Why does that look so small? <laughs> Looks like she picked up one of the toys. That's uh, off the merch section. WWEshop.com. The toy section. <laughs> I picked up one at Walmart. Or Kmart. Maybe not Kmart. Kmart might not exist then. So what's the verdict? Nothing too serious. I'll just be out a couple weeks. You're lucky. That could have ended your career. <laughs> it would take a much worse attack than that to end my career. Or being offered the hosting gig on America's Next Top Hand Model, which is the best show on TV, hands down. See? I'm a natural. So, are you mad that Brooklyn saw the list on my phone? I was. But I think I'm over it, considering you almost got snapped in half trying to help me. Besides, I just found out next week I have a number one contenders match for the Divas Championship. So I'm still going to cross it off the list. Good. At least one of us will be in the title picture. What do you mean? Aren't you going to use your rematch clause when you heal up? I would if I had one. Turns out one of the other loose ends Brooklyn took care of before she stepped down as GM was removing the rematch clause from my contract. So if I want another shot at Samoa Joe, I'm going to have to earn it just like anyone else. I know you can do it. But first, you need to focus on getting better. I guess it's just like on America's Next Top Hand model when Andrea jammed her finger playing volleyball and lost the Christmas engagement ring campaign. It took a lot of hard work and moisturizing, but in a couple months her hand was back in top form and she booked the Valentine's Day spot, which was way bigger than the Christmas gig. I must have missed that episode. I can get you a copy. I have every one of them saved. I think I got the gist of it. Your loss. Brooklyn Von Braun 
Women's WWE Divas Championship. Yes, you heard that correctly. Brooklyn petitioned WWE officials to bring the Divas Championship out of retirement and award it to her simply out of spite towards Red. The Divas Championship actually holds a lot of personal meaning for Red, and it was one of the final milestones she wanted to cross off her list. You two are acting like Red's been barred from ever holding the Divas Championship. She still has that opportunity if she can win this match and then defeat Brooklyn Von Braun. There it is. Did you hear that crack? She just keeps using that. Hey, wouldn't you? She's gaining momentum here, guys. Momentum has clearly swung her way. Harsh impact. Come on, sell it. done here in this fatal four-way match you can bet there's going to be a celebration tonight and by the sound of this crowd i'm not sure this is who they expected to win this one At the Royal Rumble, the WWE Universe will witness a night of firsts. It'll be the first time the WWE Divas Championship has been defended in nearly 15 years. 
and it'll be the first time these two longtime rivals step inside the ring and face each other in a one-on-one -on -one match. So ladies, all that's left is to sign the contract and make this unprecedented night official. Byron, as former GM of SmackDown Live, I conducted quite a few contract signings, and let me just say, you're doing a terrible job. You didn't even give me a chance to embarrass my opponent. Sorry. Now, Shut up Byron mentioned this is going to be the first official match between Red and I, but we've had our share of fights over the years. So I wanted to take the WWE Universe back to when Red and I were in high school to see actual footage from our very first fight. Well, it was really more of a one-sided beatdown. This is what happens when you mess with the captain of the wrestling team. What are you gonna do? Hit me with a steel chair? Put me through a table? I'm going to get help. <laughs> Yeah, you Everyone were actually trained fighter. Red, she wasn't. But let me introduce you to her best friend, Trey. Get it? Because he busted his butt on a lunch tray. <laughs> Trey, 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 Trey. Now her face matches her nickname. Hot head red. Hot head red. Hot head red. <laughs> <laughs> At the Royal Rumble, our next fight is going to end just like they always have. You on the ground, screaming in pain, tapping out to the biggest crossover star in WWE history, the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun! I just thought of something. Wouldn't Samoa Joe be close to like 60 now in this timeline? Uh, yeah, they're gonna end up embarrassing her, so keep cool. I'll do my talking in the ring at the Royal Rumble. Wait, before you leave, I have a gift for you. To commemorate our big match and also honor our very first fight. Come on, it's rude to turn down a gift. loses her temper. She was provoked. Yeah, do it to her. Yeah. I hope Red's happy. But if you ask me, this type of juvenile behavior should have stayed in high school. No matter how you feel about what just transpired, these two lifelong rivals will finally settle their differences once and for all at the Royal Rumble. I wrote a special song for the Royal Rumble. Want to hear it? Not really. Well, I'm going to play it anyway. Well, I've been searching all these years for a sign to show me the way. But it was right in front of me and he went by the name of Trey. You see, this man's been lucky his entire stupid career. So I knew if he could succeed, I had nothing to fear. Tonight I outlast 29 men so I can get my shot at the gold. And then the universe walks with Elias in the greatest tale ever told. So what do you think? I think you're going to have to rewrite your song after tonight. <laughs> so.
So what number did you get for the Royal Rumble match? Two. One. Oh, well, that's a really tough draw. But I'm sure lots of people have won from that spot. Wait, is that piece of paper with your number on it folded in half? Oh, yeah, it is. It's not two, it's 23. Okay, now I like your chances a little better. Not that I was doubting you before. <laughs> After I win the Rumble, I can't wait to watch you put Brooklyn in her place once and for all. She may have gotten the better of me in the past, but tonight's different. She has to step into my ring. Yeah. My only concern is she might pull something cheap, like having Samoa Joe get involved. I'll make sure that doesn't happen. By the way, have you seen Sin Cara? I think I owe him an apology. Why? When I thought I drew number two, I may have thrown a slight tantrum and damaged his mini trampoline. I'm not sure he even knows how to get into the ring without that. I think he'll manage for one night. Besides, we have bigger things to worry about. Okay. <laughs> he broke his trampoline. Guys, Tyler Breeze has been unsuccessfully trying to eliminate Otis for quite a while now. It's going to need a lot more stakes. Yeah, so a lot more weights if he wants to throw Otis over the top rope. Adam Cole from behind, and he eliminates both of them. Gotta go Cole. And now Adam Cole is all along in the ring, giving him a chance to catch his breath before the next superstar enters. Here we go. Who's it going to be? It's Sin Cara! Oh, what just happened there? Oh. His trampoline exploded. Is he okay? Considering he just hit the apron rib first at full speed, I'm going to go with no. Can I go try it? You hurt Cara. Unfortunately, it looks like Sin Cara will not be able to compete in the Royal Rumble match. Mm. I guess we're moving on to our next entry. Can't wait to get his hands on him. Sorry, man. That's that's on me. These two certainly have some unfinished business as Trey defeated Adam Cole for the WWE Championship thanks to Samoa Joe's interference. We've heard superstars talk about building confidence. Byron, how do competitors build confidence in this type of match? A major way to build confidence and momentum is to string together eliminations. That's true, Byron. If a superstar can toss some people out to the floor, oh, come on. Group, they change the complexion of the match. As great as those are, you only need one elimination to win this match. The last one. spot now. Yeah, he's got to find a way out of that corner. One of my favorite things about the Royal Rumble really is the element of surprise. You just never know who's going to come out next. Reverses. Can he make him pay? Oh, what a close line. Force 
successfully delivered. His offense is on point right now. That's what he does, keeps on the attack. Oh, the old European uppercut. Scoop slam! Stomping, ouch! I'd have to agree with Corey's comments on the element of surprise. It seems each year I find myself shocked at some of the names we see competing in the Rumble. That's kind of funny coming from you, Michael, considering many might say that year of 2012 appearance in the Rumble match was the biggest surprise ever. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Byron, I'm undefeated at WrestleMania. Don't remind us. Been eliminated. Check his nose. Elbow drop. Oh, my God. German suplex. Guys, it's almost time for our next competitor. Elbow drop. Look who we have here, guys. And he looks super motivated. Uh, why would I want to do this? Disrespectful smack oh. to the face. He's got something bad in mind. Um. Oh, oh my gosh. I was like, what a little bit And Big E manages hey, to reverse Ryan. that point. Like, three, Listen to three. this crowd count the next one. Finds a way to reverse. In the jaw. Big elimination right there. Team Green has been eliminated. Big E showing some expert prowess here. Oh, chip breaking uppercut. Big E, let me the fuck alone. Straight punch, nothing fancy. Okay. Come on, Big E, you're so stupid. It's not even funny. He has something big planned. Drop. Always entertaining when Kevin Owens starts his antics. We might be looking at an elimination here. This could be it. Why, why is everybody going after me? Kick to the gut, you. And Brian you know showing so much creativity. That's why Brian is one of the best. Fuck ricochet. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Work is being put in by Daniel Bryan. Boom, what impact! Teed off! What a hit from Owens! Oh, target acquired and destroyed. Just launched. And Big E manages to reverse out of that one. I don't have a way to finish it. That's what it is. Oh, we have a new superstar entering the fray here. This should be interesting. I have a strong feeling that these guys will throw caution to the wind and just go full steam ahead. Oh, oh my. Ricochet. Can you believe it? Being wow. eliminated. Like what? Oh, it's not going to be pretty. Pretty tease. Spike them. And a oh, reversal. Oh. Okay, and fuck off, off, Ryan. Got a big uppercut. What a close up. Big E has been eliminated. Look at this guy. Daniel Bryan's in there. And I wish I could just go in the ring and say it right to his face. Heavy duty right hand. Oh, oh Kevin, don't do it. Are you? 
You never want to find game yourself game in a spot like this. this. Oh, right to the throat. Looking stunned. Looking rocked. Pow, what a shot. Uncorked a big punch. So ruthless. Owens with his trademark ruthlessness. He might only be academic at this point for Kevin Owens, who is teeing away at will. Kevin Owens doing a great job of turning that one around. I don't know how KO does this. Such a great athlete. Gut buster by Owens. Lariat. There's the elimination. Kevin Owens has been eliminated. Oh, nasty impact. The new Daniel he did it. has been he eliminated. Royal Rumble and will now go on to fight for a championship at WrestleMania. Wait a second, why is the countdown clock starting up again? The, the rumble's over. Apparently there's another entrance. Uh, hold on, it can't be. Is that what I think it is? No way. They totally ripped off this thing from like 2019. It's the president of the United States of America. President is he gonna panic and just don't Rumble. know. This is unbelievable. We all thought the match was over, but I guess there are 31 entrants this year. It's the president, he can do whatever he wants. We're all witnessing history. For the first time ever, the president is competing in the Royal Rumble. And Trey has to beat him to go to WrestleMania. Over the years, there have been numerous surprise entrants in the Royal Rumble, from returning superstars to legends and even celebrities. But none of them were bigger than this. He surprise factor aside, what can we expect to see from President line. Rock tonight? I mean, as of late, all of his fierce opponents have been of the political variety in Washington. What kind of fighting shape is he in? Just look at him. I don't think he's missed a workout the entire time he's been in the Oval Office. In fact, I heard half of Air Force One has been converted into the top-of-the-line gym. And don't forget, Trey's already been in the Rumble for a while. The president's completely rested. You two may be right, but we're about to find out if our Commander-in-Chief has what it takes to win the Royal Rumble. Makes me restart the whole thing. <laughs> Just 
Yeah, come on. Guys, Tyler Breeze has been unsuccessful. Are you fucking Trying to kidding. eliminate Otis for quite a while now. He's going to need a lot more stakes and lift a lot more weights if he wants to throw Otis over the top rope. Adam Cole from behind, and he eliminates both of them. And now Adam Cole is all alone in the ring, giving him a chance to catch his breath before the next superstar enters. Here we go. Who is it going to be? It's Sin Cara! <laughs> oh, what just happened there? His trampoline exploded. Is he okay? Considering he just hit the apron and rib first at full speed, I'm going to go with no. Unfortunately, it looks like Sin Cara will not be able to compete in the Royal Rumble match. You have the security come out and check them. I guess we're moving on to our next entry. Can't wait to get his hands on him. Sorry, man. That's that's on me. These two certainly have some unfinished business as Trey defeated Adam Cole for the WWE Championship thanks to Samoa Joe's interference. There are so many risks associated with being in a Royal Rumble match, and for the High Flyers, taking to the air could put them in a perilous situation. Well, no matter how you look at it, spending time in the air during the Royal Rumble match, not a spot you want to be in. Hey, you do whatever it takes to stay in the match. I say if the High Flyers want to take it to the air, go for it. Only one superstar can emerge victorious in main event, WrestleMania. There's the elimination. That's what I was trying to do the rock. But... Turn. Here comes the King Slayer. Here comes the Manslayer. Remember, both feet, both feet have to touch the floor once you go over the top oh. rope in order to be eliminated. Ah, leg drop guillotine. <laughs> Evading possible disaster there. Oh yeah, he looks super focused. Little known fact, guys, the first ever Royal Rumble was broadcast on free television at the very same time that the competition was only there. Ladies and gentlemen, the House Stampede pay-per-view. Coincidence? Has been eliminated. I think not. Who's it gonna be, fellas? To elaborate more on the 1988 Royal Rumble Buckhouse Stampede controversy, it's worth noting that the competition held their event in New York that night, a location long considered to be WWE territory. A bold move indeed, but I'm willing to bet in retrospect, the competition wishes they never did poke that bear. What a close line! Big e has been eliminated. We're about to get another one. Things are about to heat up here, guys. I wouldn't want to be in the ring now, that's for sure. make a difference here guys without a doubt Lariat unbelievable the new that's a shocking elimination 
elimination if you ask me. Did that really just happen, Michael? Counting it down, who is it gonna be? And here's Kevin Owens! Close line over the top! Man! And look, it hung up on the second row. Oh, look at this aggression. Byron, this is what I wish you would do. Ah, oh, the go-home driver. Good night. There goes KO with the mind games. Heading to the ring with a purpose. Boy, that's the truth. Oh, my God, what an elbow. Lightning fast reflexes. Okay. Thanks, Ricochet. You're very smart. With the suplex. Neckbreaker. Ouch. Athleticism. I did hit reverse over. Oh, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Double RKO. Ooh, Kevin Owens is a force within the ring. Ooh, what impact. Ooh. Of course. This has got trouble written all over it, guys. Harsh impact. Why? Like, I'm on their shoulders. Where's the logic here? Down Why would you? Hurry. There's a guy about to be eliminated, but you go after the other guy. Interesting. There's 2K stupidity. Huh? Thinking that people Boom. do that. <laughs> Look how quick Ricochet is. Strong impact from Ricochet. Ouch. Dangerous situation here, guys. Downright treacherous. Ricochet taking the fight to him. He's hitting on all cylinders right now. Ah, now it's Owens making him pay. Boom, what impact. Big elbow. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully Ricochet delivered. has been eliminated. Ooh, there's the elimination. Kevin Owens. He did it. He's right. eliminated. And will now go on to fight for a championship. Okay, bring out the Wayne the Johnson. Wait, wait a second. Why is the countdown clock starting up again? The, the rumble's over. Apparently, there's another entrance. No way. It's the President of the United States of America. President Rock is in the Royal Rumble. This is unbelievable. We all thought the match was over, but I guess there are 31 entrants this year. It's the President. He can do whatever he wants. We're all witnessing history for the first time ever. The president is competing in the Royal Rumble. And Trey has to beat him to go to WrestleMania. Over the years, there have been numerous yeah, surprise entrants in the Royal Rumble, from returning superstars to legends and even celebrities. But none of them were bigger than this. Surprise factor aside, what can we expect to see from President Rock tonight? I mean, as of late, all of his fierce opponents have been of the political variety in Washington. What kind of fighting shape is he in?
Just look at him. I don't think he's missed a workout the entire time he's been in the Oval Office. In fact, I heard half of Air Force One has been converted into the top of the line gym. And don't forget, Trey's already been in the Rumble for a while. The president's completely rested. You two may be right, but we're about to find out if our Commander-in-Chief has what it takes to win the Royal Rumble. Surprises this time, it's official. Trey has won the Royal Rumble and will compete for a title at WrestleMania. I still can't believe what we just witnessed. This is going to make headlines all around the world. It looks like the president's not finished with Trey. Since our WrestleMania what, 32, our Royal Rumble. Trey has earned the president's seal of approval. Maybe he's in line for a cabinet position. Let's not get carried away, Saxton. He should at least get an invite to the White House. You've known the president for a long time, Cole. You've been to the White House yet? No, but he's a busy guy. I'm sure he'll get around to inviting me. Anyway, congratulations again to Trey on this history-making night. She's gone from terrorizing Red and Trey to W. The match with nearly two decades of buildup has finally made it to a WWE rank. It Red versus Brooklyn Von Braun. Until recently, I would have thought Red had the advantage with Brooklyn Von Braun stepping onto her turf. Brooklyn's transition from MMA to W. What the hell? I didn't mean to get her squashed. <laughs> the match with nearly two decades of buildup has finally made it to a WWE rank. It's Red versus Brooklyn Von Braun. Until recently, I would have thought Red had the advantage with Brooklyn Von Braun stepping onto her turf. But Brooklyn's transition from MMA to WWE has been virtually seamless. Yeah, it's very similar to how quickly Ronda Rousey was able to get acclimated in WWE. With that being said, tonight's outcome is extremely difficult to predict, as this might be one of the most personal conflicts we've ever witnessed. Got him! The champ now absorbing a little damage. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Oh, 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 oh. She is just dominant right now. The momentum is clearly turned to her favor. Red and Brooklyn are going back and forth, taking out years of frustration on each other. Looks like Red's got the upper hand for now. <clears throat> Red with the tackle. And now both women are down. So far, oh, these two have been matching move. each other move for move. One of them needs to somehow gain an edge.
That's it? I'm not gonna find out the ending? And there you see Samoa Joe watching this heated battle. I think he's headed out here to provide that edge Brooklyn needs. Trey nails him from behind. He was ready to stop him. We're going to see the walls come down here. This is out of control. I don't like the looks of this. I don't either, Corey. Not one bit. The back. Stage area is no place to set. And I think we just might see. Oh, in the parking lot. Fuck, I need to learn how to read. <laughs> oh, what a way to win a singles match. And there you see Samoa Joe watching this heated battle. I think he's headed out here to provide that edge Brooklyn needs. Trey nails him from behind. He was ready to stop him. And they're ready to go in the backstage area. Unsecurity. This looks like the setup to Ooh. Trey manages to get Samoa Joe down, but for how long? Wait, what's Trey doing? I think he's going to put Joe inside the trunk of that car. He's going to try to. Joe's dead weight. Well, that's one way to stop Samoa Joe from interfering. Yeah, assuming that trunk is strong enough to contain Joe and his enhanced arm. It looks like it'll do the job. For now, at least. Okay. between Trey and Samoa Joe. I'm just glad that thanks to Trey, we're gonna get a definitive win in this match. Yeah, as long as one of them can make it back in the ring before the 10 count. And they both do. Neither of them are ready for this match to end. For nearly a decade, the name is Turn the tide here. High angle belly to back suplex. She's been on the offensive for a little while now. 
She's looking unstoppable, actually. This is going to be... Look out! Elbow drop! Beautiful Tope Atomico. Nicely done. the WWE Divas Championship. This has to feel like a giant weight has been lifted off of Red in so many ways. And here comes Red's best friend to join in the celebration. Respect to Red for being able to achieve the seemingly impossible. This is truly a special night for her, both personally and professionally. I knew you'd be here early. You always were an overachiever. You here to demand your rematch? Because I have no problem beating you again tonight. There's not gonna be a rematch. You're giving up that easily? No, there's not going to be a rematch because you're going to announce your retirement tonight. <laughs> what? That's news to me. It's why I wanted to find you first thing, so you could start writing your big farewell speech. But. That kind of emotional garbage should actually come easily to you. I mean, if you get stuck, you could just borrow something from your earlier writing. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is, we did, but we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Love always, your mom and dad. That's right. I found out you wrote that little piece of fiction kicking off 20 years of lies to your best friend. His real parents are dead, and you've been stringing him along this entire time, making him think they're alive just so you'd have one friend in your depressing life. You never told him the truth, even when he continued to pathetically leave two empty seats for them that would never be filled. Why? Why are you doing this? The why doesn't really matter. Right now, you should be more concerned with the what, as in what could happen next. I could expose you and all your lies, destroying your life, your reputation, and most of all, your friendship with Trey. Or, you can retire immediately, and I'll make your secret my secret. But one way or another, it's happening tonight. I know walking away from everything you've worked for will be the hardest thing you've ever done, but you have to keep our secret. Please. How does she have access to all that dirt? <laughs>
And that's how I won the WWE Divas Championship, crossing off one of the most Look, elusive them. things on be. the list. I, but the Divas Championship that's wasn't them. just a title. That's my mom and dad. It was more than that. It was... Uh, sorry, I, I think something amazing just happened. Uh, earlier today, I received a note saying I would finally get to meet my birth parents at the Hall of Fame ceremony tonight, and I, I think they just arrived. I don't know I, what's I, happening I apologize either. if I'm a little distracted. Who are those just, people? I've been waiting for this, this moment my entire life. We're, we're almost done here, so I'll, I'll catch up with you real soon, okay? Uh, sorry again for cutting you off. Where were you? Uh, there's really not much left to say other than to cover how we ended up here tonight. When I defeated my lifelong nemesis to capture this championship, the same championship I dreamed of winning as a young girl, it was an amazing feeling. But after that wore off, I was consumed by a range of different emotions, ones that I hadn't felt in a very long time. Satisfaction, relief, peace of mind, the fire, that drove me throughout my career to come out here and fight on a nightly basis was suddenly gone. I went from thinking what's next to what's left. And I realized that after crossing off the most elusive item on the list, the answer was not much because I accomplished everything I set out to do and way more. So I had to be honest with myself. If I kept going, everything after would feel like a letdown. And that's not how I want to live my life or remember my career. So with all that being said, I'm here tonight to relinquish the Divas Championship and announce my retirement from WWE effective immediately. Is this actually happening? Unfortunately, I, I think it is. Now, I know this is probably shocking and some of you might be disappointed or upset, but this isn't necessarily a bad thing. I've lived this part of my life to the fullest, and now it's time for me to go explore other challenges. And who knows, maybe I'll try acting again. You all saw how my only other audition went. Can't go worse than that, right? <laughs> Finally, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for supporting me for all these years. Please continue to back the next women who take my place, who I am certain will be stronger, more athletic, and hopefully a little less temperamental than I was. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's it. Thanks, everyone. really sure what to say. I'm stunned. I think we all are. Uh, no one was expecting this. Uh, thank you, Red. Yes, thank you. And we wish you all the best.
Okay. What was that? You can't retire. You've got years left on your career. I'm sorry, but I need you to try to understand. Maybe I could wrap my head around it if I had a little more warning. I mean, when you texted me, make sure you watch my promo tonight, I was expecting you had some clever line about Brooklyn, not that you were going to walk away from WWE. This wasn't something I was planning for a long time. It happened quickly. Okay, fine. But if you're done, then I'm done. We're a package deal, remember? No, what? Don't do this. I need you to try to understand. What about the title shot you just earned in the Royal Rumble? <coughs> and getting revenge on Samoa Joe for everything he's done? None of that matters if you're not along for the ride, too. You need to think about this some more. You're making an impulsive decision. I've made up my mind. So did you. I'm done. I never expected my plan to work this well and cause your idiot friend to retire too. It's like getting rid of two turds with one stone. This isn't over. But it is over. And that's the best part of all of this. Anyway, just wanted to wish you a happy early retirement. Maybe you can take up bingo or going to dinner at 3 p.m. or yelling at kids in your neighborhood. If you kick that ball in my yard one more time, I'm going to put you on my list. <laughs> Hilarious. See you, uh, never again. Just tell him, fuck. <laughs> We're going live with your show intro in five minutes. Thanks. Uh, just let me run through it once to make sure I've got it. <clears throat> Who will be named as your top ten? Prepare yourself for drama as our contestants get their hands dirty, glad-handing with the CEO of a manure company to see who can get the upper hand for their fall fertilizer campaign. It's all hands on deck. Coming up next on America's Next Top Hand Model. Do you think there's too many hand puns? It's perfect. It's not heavy-handed at all. Ah! I see what you did there. <laughs> hey, hey, sorry I missed your other call. I'm at my new hosting gig. Look, if this is about getting Baron Corbin a spot on the show, I'm still relatively new here, so I don't think I have that kind of pull yet. Oh, okay, good, because honestly, I don't think Baron's hands are anything to write home about. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? Really? That, that's amazing! Did you tell Red yet? Yeah, she's been hard to reach lately. Okay, I'll, I'll try her. This is truly an honor. Thank you so much. Ah! <laughs> ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, oh, yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna be famous, er. I'm gonna be famous, er. That's my ring and my championship. I hate you, Brooklyn. What? Hey, it's been a while. How's it going? I'm great. I'm on vacation at the beach, which is why no one's been able to reach me. I'm trying to disconnect, you know? Oh, that's good to hear. 
I only have a minute, so I'll make this quick. I just got some amazing news. We're going into the WWE Hall of Fame together. Really? Wow, I I'm shocked. I mean, I thought it would happen someday, but definitely not this fast. They didn't say this, but I'm assuming they want to capitalize on my crossover appeal as host of ANTHM. I'm sure that's it. I know we didn't expect our careers to end the way they did, but it's nice to know we accomplished enough to go into the Hall of Fame. And more importantly, we're going in together, just like it's always been. Yeah, it is nice. Hey, I gotta run. Don't relax too much. You know what they say about idle hands. Ooh, I gotta work that into tonight's show. Congrats. You too. Ooh, I wish I could see Brooklyn's reaction. <laughs> I'm sure she won't be happy. Which makes me happy. Well, I'm gonna leave it there. I knew I said I'd finish it, but whatever. Um, if you enjoyed it, as always, let me hear about it. Have a good one.